Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the reading. I hope you enjoyed this speed shuffle. This is your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. The overall energy in this reading is Raven Spirit. Your person wants to speak the truth to you. When we get the energy of the wise woman of the grove, we see this person feels as though you have a lot of grace, a lot of dignity, that you are someone who does demand the truth. We also see that we have the daffodil fairy. So we have new beginnings. And when we look at the reading, their action is the Ace of Cups, which is new beginnings. So it's a great reading. I feel that there's a lot of confusion that will be cleared up in this reading for you. In terms of their thoughts, they feel as though you are very much the type of person that they would imagine making a commitment with. When we look at the Hierophant, we are looking at the energy that they bring to the table in terms of how they think about you, that you share their values, that you're stable, that you're reliable, that you both love the truth, you both love, you both have a very strong core of beliefs that are very important to this person. Now, when we get the overall energy of the reading, though, we do get the moon card, which means that they have some fear. The moon card is a subconscious mind. And so it does speak to the fact that your person has some insecurities about love in general. It looks as though they do feel as though you may have walked away from them. You may currently not be talking to them. Now, what we also see is another storyline here, because this is a general reading. So one reading is not one size fits all any more than a dress and a, or a suit, right? So we get that you may have walked away from them. You may not currently be talking to them, and they're overwhelmed. Another interpretation is that you've both left a relationship that wasn't working for you, and you no longer have contact with another person. And so, therefore, it makes your person ready as well as, you know, for you in relationship. But I will address this first as if you don't have contact. In their heart space, they you get another energy of the Four of Wands. This is very excited, happy, joyful energy. Your person, Sagittarius, feels as though they could. They have it in their heart space. It's a heart of the reading. They see you as a person with whom they could travel through life with and have great joy. Again, this is a traditional marriage indicator. In the Tarot, it's about buying a home together, creating the four pillars of a basic foundation, a strong foundation on which to have a relationship. They may, You may be dealing with a Leo. Your person may be a fire sign energy, but in their heart space, they have great passion for you. They feel as though you, they would be so proud to have you as a person on their arm, you know, as a person with whom they would walk through life with. The lion-hearted, you know, we get that Leo energy. This is a very proud person. They don't settle very quickly. I will reiterate, it may not be dealing with a Leo, but it is an energy of being very proud, very dignified, somebody who's very loving, willing to do the work. When we look and see what they feel in terms of you know, in their heart space, how will they go about making this decision? How is the path forward? We see them locking their heart in a cage, and it could be due to old wounds, if that's what's applicable. If not, they are still very much a person who does not throw themselves randomly into love. They have to be on the same page with you. They have to share values with you. This is a person who loves the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. This is a person who would, could fall in love with somebody extremely messy, but would definitely not be likely to marry them. So it's not that their heart is really caged. It's that they are looking for a match a on a very practical level. They know that love is not enough and that you need more than love. 
This person in their intention is all about being very giving to the relationship. When we have new beginnings here, we also have the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. When we look at your person's intentions right now, they are thinking through what they want. Virgo energy, the hermit, very much in the process of seeking answers, of seeking wisdom, of seeking answers from a higher self. So it appears that when your person starts to fall in love, which they have started to fall in love, there is a very... The moon card represents with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords at the very minimum that they have a fear. They have a fear of abandonment, which is pretty common. The energy of the new beginnings, we can see it again right here. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. And we really see that this person is very dignified. This is not a person who's likely to say abrupt things or to cause a lot of chaos. They are just not. That's not how they live. They are seeking you actively. Their actions now are to allow themselves to fall in love with you, to have the strength and the courage to make that choice. And again, they see you as a person, queen of swords, king of swords. They see you as highly compatible with them. We get once again this beautiful fire in the belly. belly, belly. Well, hello, Mercury retrograde. The fire in the belly of your person of interest is Leo energy, having the courage, having the the fearlessness to go through and do something that is terrifying and that is fall in love. Because when we love, we know we can get hurt. So your person is very, very realistic, I think, about love and what it means and how important it is. They also feel very much that they walk away from people who do not share their values simply because it is they still have a very strong desire for long term for longevity for a committed relationship they feel that the two of you are divine partnership they feel as though both of you are very clear cut about what you want and what you'll put up with and what you won't put up with and what you seek and demand so let's look at the clarifiers for how your person is you know how they're processing everything i love this reading for you we see the five of cups reversed so with the moon card your person is not in a feeling of sadness they are in a feeling of discomfort but they're not in the feeling of grieving or sadness your person is very well uh, grounded they're realistic they are a person who doesn't really want to live in the past and that is very it's a strength that they bring to this relationship you know we're all you know we all have a memory it's not like we get amnesia, amnesia when we fall in love but what we do not want to do is repeat mistakes for many of you this person may be newly divorced because we see a walking away from a traditional relationship however again that will only be a few people and this person is walking to you into this happiness okay so let's look at the Hierophant card. What does it mean to this person? Yes, I would say the Ten of Swords is that this person is probably divorced and they probably did the right thing. They're no longer grieving the relationship, but it appears that in the past they were influenced by someone who did not treat them well up to and including a betrayal. And so when we get the reverse, we see your person is not, their attitude about marriage is still very powerful. It's very favorable for you in relationship because they know that one person's actions against them are not everyone's actions against them. So they're not carrying a lot of wounded warrior energy. Do they have discomfort? Yes, of course, because falling in love is kind of scary. The five of wands. So your person feels as though they were put in a situation in the past where they had to walk away. So what it tells me right now is when they think of new love, 
They are going to hold back. They will walk away if they sense in any way that somebody is not honest. This is a person who, when they think of love, has good, beautiful intentions, but they also, that is another truth speaking card again. So their thoughts are they have a plan of action to either move forward or if they were to feel that you were not reliable to move away. So that's pretty rational, pretty logical. I like the energy of the way they're processing this. When we look in their heart space, we have this fiery king of wands, Leo energy for you, Sag. Look at that. Now we have an, I have goose pimples. Oh, that is psychic energy kicking in whenever I get goose pimples. Um, and so what it tells me is they see you as the ultimate happiness, the sun card. This is all about the vivid the vivid experience, the dramatic experience of what a joy it is to fall in love, what a joy it is to find happiness, and that the relationship is in its infancy, and they want to nurture it, they want to protect it. That's what the fiery king does, absolutely protects and creates a safe space, and that's what is going on in their heart space with you right now. The Four of Wands energy is all about stability, happiness. Yes, this person is open to a, a committed relationship. It is what they seek. It is what they want. And it is what they want with you in their heart space. The Fool card is Aquarius energy. Four of Wands is Aries energy. The Nine of Cups, they feel as though they've been alone for a long time. And in their heart space, they have been lonely without you. You know how sometimes when you think about love, you think, if I just had this person that I can envision, your person is literally manifesting happiness with you. Nine of Cups is somebody who's missed having that happiness because we see this person surrounded by lots of fun, lots of activity, but they're not satisfied. It's one of the happiest cards in the deck generally, and now it's paired with this beautiful sun card. They found the person with whom they can be happy. This person is not about eat, drink, be merry, debauchery, you know, all of those sort of Tom Jones. If, you've, if you're not familiar with the play Tom Jones, it's sort of like, it's all about sort of lust and just having fun. So your person wants to have lust and fun, but they're not going to use it to the detriment of themselves. They want stability. They want harmony. They want loyalty. They want passion. They want possibly children and whatever it is that the two of you would create in a relationship. So this person, although they're very cautious, although they could be very reserved, I think at the time being, they know what they want and they are going to pursue it with you. We have the wheel of fortune when the time is right. Your person is intending to give more to the relationship. They're in it to win it. The six of coins means I'm invested. The ace of wands, very interesting energy with the clarifiers. We have the devil card. So your person is very much intending to only have passion with you to only have that in the parameter of a situation in which they feel completely safe. They have had passion in the past. That passion has turned into being manipulated or controlled. So when we look at their intentions, their intentions are pure, their intentions are honest. And what I see when we look down, you know, when we look from the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, your person has absolutely zero intention of having a toxic relationship in which sex is used as a tool to manipulate if you know as something that happens prematurely your person is very thoughtful about how they spin the energy of passion in relationship and they want far more than they've had in the past the hermit card we see the ace of cups your person is truly intending to allow themselves the joy of falling in love with you and it is because when they look at the situation, when they think of who you are, Sagittarius, they see you as a person who's trustworthy. Let's look at the Ace of Cups for the 
way that, you know, the actions they will take. What actions will this person take towards our beautiful Sagittarius friend? Okay, the Four of Cups. So your person is not going to invest if you don't respond. So we see this person is looking for love. Maybe they've looked for love in all the wrong places, in which case I feel as though they told you that with the truth. I feel as though they've had disappointment. So we do see someone in terms of their actions who's a little bit skeptical, a little bit worried, and that is resonating here with the Queen and King of Swords. It's okay. We should think our thoughts. We should process them. But I see your person moving forward with the strength card. The strength card. They are letting their worries and their concerns transcend. They are rebirthing the ability to love deeply again, to trust. What else do we have? Fire in their belly for this relationship. Your person, I do feel the death card means that they have been through the mill in another relationship and they're going to have... They should probably have shared that with you already. You probably already know this. The Knight of Pentacles, very reliable, showing up, always being there, really invested, invested. The Knight of Pentacles is the one knight that becomes a king because he's steadfast, quote unquote, he. We see, honey, I'm home. Your person wants to come towards you and very quickly. They don't know yet what that looks like or how long it will take. But your person is very, you know, they're a little bit on guard. We see this person trying to stay as they fall deeply in love with you. We see this person trying to stay rational so that they can really know if they're being juggled. Your person was juggled by another. They were hurt by another. They were left in the cold by another person. And so what we see is this very, very successful single person who is very pretty. They've healed their wounds. This person is really ready for love with the Nine of Pentacles, and they are rational enough, and they are being very objective with this Hermit card in selecting you very carefully because they think you are absolutely their happy place, their future, their eternity, their soulmate through eternity, and their new love. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from and let me know what you think of the reading, please. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.